I guess it, it seems like a no-brainer. He's the governor of the state. He's a powerful political figure. He's worthy of a book. I'm sure he would say that to us as well. But what, what made you, what put you over the top in deciding to write about the governor? He's amazingly popular across the country. I fly a lot. And uh, it's very uh, common for someone to ask me where I'm from. And they, when I say New Jersey, they say, oh, I love your governor. Why? Why do they like him? They like what they see on TV. But they, and I always ask why. Yeah. And what they see on TV, they like. Uh, when they read the book, they will find out the rest of the story. What when, you put, really like. when you put this together, how much of what they see on TV is real? How much is an impression that's been created? And how much is the real Chris Christie there? Well, none of it is fake. Um, I think that it is only part of the story. You know, you, you see a 10 second, 20 second, even a two minute YouTube clip. It's only part of what a person is. So, um, but I don't think any of that is being faked. I mean, he definitely has. All those stuff that are being put up on YouTube, that's, you know, he's being genuine in those. Is, is he, what, what is his driving force? Why is he who he is? He has, he has had ambition all his life to make a difference. And I think people are going to be surprised how early he actually made up his mind. You talk he about it was grade school. He was thinking about doing grade this. Grade school, absolutely. Second grade. So I, I, I think he's always wanted to make a difference. And uh, he's a natural born leader. Where does that come from, that making a difference desire? Is that, that's the family, that's the mom? In, that, in many you know. ways, it's the quintessential all American story with his ancestors who came over a, a couple of generations back, literally on the boat. Mm -hmm. And they would take whatever job they could get, sometimes two jobs. Each generation did a little better. And then pretty soon, you have one who's governor of New Jersey that a lot of people want to be president of the country. This, a lot of people can, you know, fall between the desire and the realization of that desire. What's been the biggest challenge or crisis in his, in his life and in his career? Uh, well, his career looked like it was over at one point when he was in county politics and gets back to some of that drive to, uh, and ambition. You know, he got into a race that nobody wanted him in to try for state senate. That didn't work out. He got on the freeholder board, rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. He made enemies. He did, and the local Republican Party in Morris County was very happy to have seemingly ended his political career. The one guy actually told him that to his face, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, they weren't shy about it. And uh, so it's amazing considering that you, by, you know, by, by the, in the last couple months, there have been people saying to him, please run for president, or please run, you know, consider being the vice presidential candidate. That, you know, not, not more than 12 years ago, it was the same party that was very happy to have ended his political career. Some people take a loss and walk away. It's that, you know, you don't have Dick Nixon to kick around thing anymore. This guy came back. Why? That's his nature. He's not the kind of guy that gives up. And I think the more he's pushed, the harder he works. All the presidential talk that you just referred to, he's got to like it. I think he loves it. Wouldn't you? I mean, who wouldn't? If, 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 he gets, if he gets mail from strangers, and we have some of the stories in the book where he will be out on vacation or something with his family, these people will walk up to him, they know who he is, and, and they beg him to run for president. I mean, who wouldn't like that? Well, yeah, it's one thing liking that attention, but what about really liking the idea of being president? I mean, it's, that, it's a job that they say people have to be almost insane to really want you, you, because of the pressure that goes with it, the 24-7 for day in, day out, four years at least. He uh, wants to make a difference. And what better position to make a difference than president of the country? Do you think he's going to run? In 2016. Uh, there's, so, there's so many elements between now and then about being on the ticket, being in the cabinet. Does President Obama win a second term? But at some point in the future, I think he'd like to, whether it's in 2016 or 2020. And, you know, I don't think he's done anything to eliminate his viability of running for re-election as governor. But I think everything is also being done with an eye on trying for that at some point. If Romney asks, would he take the vice presidential nomination? I think he would lean toward taking it, if Romney asks. If Romney doesn't ask and Romney doesn't win, does he definitely run in 2016? You know, uh, Mike, uh, four months is an eternity in politics. Four years, forget about it. That's, that's life years away. Uh, so many things can happen. But uh, I, I agree with Mike. I think that uh, that's his uh, ambition. 
and uh, he's always looking for ways to make it happen. And there are a lot of people who'd like to, him to be governor for another four years. In writing the book, the biggest surprise. We thought it was going to be much more uh, purely a book about politics when we first started with it, and uh, in part because the governor's family was generous with some time and some interviews. A lot of the, the family background was, was interesting to learn. I thought that was one of the issues. I think so too. I thought I knew a lot about him because I've been covering him for more than 10 years. But when I got into the family stuff and, and what it was like when he was growing up and all of that, I, there were surprises there. Well, the readers will be surprised and delighted. It's a great read. Chris thank Christie, you. the inside story of his rise to power. Bob Engel and Michael Simons. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks.